welcome back to my channel yes if it's your first time here welcome so today's video is gonna be a flight review on Asman Air many of you guys since I did my last flight review on a local Nigerian airline which was Airpiece has been saying to me Funke yes we enjoy all this Singapore hair all this Lufthansa all this British Airways but how about the local airlines in Nigeria like we don't really know much about them I have international people messaging me saying all the time that which airline should we go for and the truth is I don't really fly local airlines that much but for you guys I'm going to be flying them and I'm flying Asman Air today so that you guys have a sense of what to expect are all those Insta blog postings we see are they real as in is that the norm is that what we normally experience so today I have my flight from Lagos to Abuja on Asman at 10 30 and it's currently 7 45 you know what I'll say I like Asman Air already I'll tell you why I don't hear much about Asman Air don't you guys find that whenever you hear about an airline in Nigeria because of, because of negativity and I'm, I've not heard anything bad to so me I'm like okay this is like a good airline and recently Asman Air actually won the number three in terms of most reliable airline in Nigeria based on their cancellations and delays they don't have many cancellations or they have many delays compared to the rest but they're number three so I'm hoping they're not gonna be delayed today because I have things to do so I really hope that have you guys flown Asman Air before like and if you have what has been the experience good or bad and if you haven't like what have what have you heard about them I want to know what you guys have heard about Asman if you have heard anything um, so to introduce myself I am Sassy Funke and I'm a Nigerian travel and lifestyle content creator so if you're all about travel content you know for the average Nigerian like how to travel better cheaper smarter like that is what my channel is about to help the average Nigerian have a better experience you know so to give you that knowledge so if you're interested in that please do hit that subscribe button please also hit the bell notification right beside it because this ensures that you always get my content and you don't miss out on anything and finally give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do more flight reviews locally in Nigeria so the more I get this, the more I know you guys are all about getting this local content. To so quickly state, in the video, I'm going to be reviewing like the food, the service, how nice they are, how good the toilet looks, because that's what I do, and just the space and just everything about the airline service. So I am super looking forward to an exciting, like amazing, smooth one hour flight. And yes, join me on that experience. Let's go. I ended up getting an Uber to take me from Victoria Island to the airport, MMA2 airport, which is the domestic terminal of Murtala Mohamed. I arrived at MMA2 approximately, let's say about 45 minutes to an hour later. So I got there about 8.45, 8.50. <music> This was probably my second or third time at MMA2 and I was actually very impressed because I thought it was very, very vibrant, very like clean and I don't know, the impression I got from this airport is different from the impression I get from the international airport. I'm actually very, very impressed. Not long after I arrived, I did locate Asman's Air check-in desk. I was very impressed by the e-ticket that Asman Air sent once I booked my ticket. Like on the ticket, it had every information from how much it will cost you to change your date to how long your ticket was valid for, to how much you'll charge if you don't show up, to you know how, when you have to check in by, when check-in closes, how much luggage you're allowed. I love the transparency of sort of the ticket. It's extremely transparent, so you know exactly what you've bought into. Is it bad to say that I was actually impressed that the escalators were working? You know, it's a little thing and I'm grateful for it. We got to security and security was actually very smooth. It was, there wasn't a huge queue, which I think I avoided because I didn't jump on the first flight. I can imagine like the 7 a.m. flight, it really gets busier, but this was very smooth. <laughs> It's important to know that you don't need a Nigerian passport as your form of ID. You can use your driving license to check in for your flight. Music 
as standard during security we had to take off our shoes and check through but that was very smooth i was very impressed that you know there was a miniso here so i went to miniso to go check out what they have and i'm serious miniso is taking over africa like i've seen them everywhere in kenya like all over nigeria so i just checked it out a little bit of window shopping i'm sure it doesn't hurt anybody I was very impressed that there were a lot of shops that were opened um, at this time of the morning and also by the food sort of facilities that were available at the airport. Hi guys, so I thought to give you guys some feedback in terms of the experience so far. Um, getting to MMA 2 took me probably like an hour or so. When I got to the airport, I did not know where Asman Air was because I feel the airlines were not really signed, posted well, but there was an information desk that I went to. Um, they knew exactly where it was and directed me and they were very smiley and happy which was good and when i got to the check-in desk there were four check-in desks dedicated to asman air but what i loved was that they made all of us line up on one of them and as the other ones were free they basically like directed us which is great for avoiding chaos especially here in nigeria because some of us don't know how to queue properly shape i know check-in took like a couple of minutes the check-in guy was okay i was upset that i couldn't have a window seat and Apparently said I didn't select a seat before. But when I was booking the flight, I didn't see the option to select a seat. Maybe I missed that, but I did not. So it's annoying because I'm now stuck with an owl seat. So I'll have to beg somebody in order for me to capture the takeoff and landing. Maybe they'll swap seats with me. Maybe they'll help me capture the shots. Let's see. Highly impressed when I was going through security. I had to go to security because it's actually, I'm impressed because we never had a machine to actually check your ticket. So the machine was not futuristic but for the airport it was nice it was an update and coming through security i'm actually very impressed by the different option of shops like like crispy cream is right there miniso is over there somewhere there are a lot of mobile shops here there are a lot of Azenza is over there so you can buy your beauty products there's a restaurant on the back there um, there's montego what's it called again montego place is over there for like perfumes and things like that so i'm actually quite impressed that they have a lot of options and if you're a business class um, passenger i think you have access to some of the lounges at the top over there too so overall i'm super impressed i'm probably gonna get myself maybe a crispy cream coffee or something to just give myself some energy before i jump on this flight that we actually boarded like before takeoff which was great like the takeoff time so we we're boarding right on time upon getting on the plane they checked our ticket again just to make sure that we we're meant to be on this flight i don't want to end up in kaduna or sokoto so it's great but after that it was smooth sailing <music> First, went through business class, then to my cabin, the economy cabin. And yes, it had a 3-3 three, three configuration. So three seats on the left-hand side and three seats on the right-hand side. I love the business class seats. They looked very sleek and very clean. I was actually very impressed. I was really praying that, given I had an aisle seat, that somebody would be happy to give up their window seats or at least help me take um, pictures or um, videos of the takeoff and landing. First things first, I decided to go check out the toilet before anyone used it because I can give a proper like assessment of it. Overall, the toilet was very, very clean. You can definitely tell that this plane was an old plane. Like it's not the newest of planes, but it's been well kept. You can tell that it's definitely been well kept. The size is very standard. It's so small and it's something you'd expect on such a small plane like this. Standard on the airplane toilet cabin, there's a baby changing board too for mothers to change their babies in. But overall, it was, you know, it, it was fine. It was fine. It was nothing. Um, you know special as a toilet but it was clean and decent which is more than you could ask for on an old plane like this I ended up settling for the middle seat because the gentleman on my right hand side said that he likes the window seat a lot so he's not going to change with me so let's talk about the leg room the leg room 
on the economy for as men was sufficient for me but i feel if you're taller it might be very uncomfortable like the gentleman on my left hand side it looked a little bit uncomfortable for him there is no in-flight entertainment screen on the flight given it's a short flight you wouldn't expect such the tray table was functioning well there was a pouch in front of me with the safety briefing right in front of me and in here just give the details of the flight you know we're in the boeing 737 300 and just all the information on there was very bold and very vivid which i think is great for the nigerian consumer because sometimes we you know we pretend like we don't notice that you're not allowed to use your laptops and take off and things like that and it was very clear on here i don't know what that mucky thing was on the safety card it just wasn't nice and i that's probably one of the things that made me okay about this you know plane anyways before we knew it we're ready to take off approximately 10 minutes after we were sort of in flight we then provided with a breakfast meal pack and in the pack there was a muffin in there there was also this sort of like bread sugar roll that was given to us then there was a chivita pineapple and coconut nectar juice and finally there was this small mint that was given to us the option that we had for drinks i opted for water which you know is great for hydration <music> The flight on asthma and air was incredibly smooth as in I didn't feel any bumps or anything like that throughout the whole flight. The landing was like near perfect which was great. So guys I'm currently in Enamdia Zikwe International Airport. So just got dropped off at the International Airport even though it was a domestic flight. Um, asthma and air, my opinions about it. The flight was very smooth, it was on time, it left on time, got back on time, got here on time. The airline hostesses were very nice. The food, hmm, you can't expect too much, it's a one hour flight. Um, <laughs> what else? Overall, would I recommend Asman Airlines? I probably would. Um, so guys, that's the end of my review. I really hope you enjoyed this flight review. Um, if you have any comments, anything, leave a comment for me below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.